Randomized. Just fixing the sound, everything's okay. Six six seven missed their preload. So did Nyam. They also managed to knock their their signal sleeve way far out of the way. Wow! What did the signal sleeve ever do? Spare parts robotics part, as well as what is happening with drivers? Pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Looks like the Red Alliance is going to have some points to make up after the Blue Alliance's impressive auto. Both Red Alliance robots appear to move fairly quickly, so surely they'll have no trouble in making up the lost points. Blue Alliance going for the farmer junctions in order to, for chance, score a serpent. Looks like Nyan and the Red Alliance has decided to not go for the cone stacks after getting warned against moving them. They decided it's not worth risking the penalty. Honestly, a smart choice. Really just shows how adaptive those teams have to be to change their strategies that quickly to avoid penalties. And that's what you're trying to do after all, avoid all those penalties. Looks like Spare Parts Robotics is trying to claim Red Alliance's high junction and they have succeeded. And then immediately, Team 21667 comes back to take that high junction. Looks like Team 15118 is having problems with their robot. They just called over an FTA. Blow High Robotics with a fairly efficient method. <laughs> is trying for the beacons, managing to claim the blue, or about to claim the Blue Alliance's high junction, while Nyan goes to claim the Blue Alliance's low junction, effectively cutting off their circuit. Nyan goes for the park. And this is their chance on the final point of that was a, this is a very close match at 130 to 134. Looks like Nyan managed to park their robot, which is currently factored into the score. Looks like each team got at least one of their beacons on the junctions, although it does look like the Red Alliance will have scored both of them. Looks like the referees are tallying up the score finals for Nyan. It's hard to keep track of all of these cones that the Red Alliance is placing down since they, their cycle time was ridiculously quick. Looks like the Blue Alliance's auto is really what kept them in the running here. It was hard to keep up with the Red Alliance.
announcement for Wildcats, and here for the snacks, we have your engineering notebooks. Come grab them. I'll keep them. They look nice. Shoot. We also have a pair of women's glasses that it appears somebody's left in the bathroom. Purple looking frames around the lenses with clear pink and green stems. like they are clearing the field. That means that we're going to get the final score for this match soon. Who do you think's winning this match, CJ? It's way too close to tell. I can't tell if they've left a few things out or what's going to change quite yet. Whoever wins this match does decide who is going to be moving forward. So, so this is a very important match for these two teams. With a score of 161 to 155, the Red Alliance wins the semifinal two. That was super close. Congratulations to Nyan, the winning Alliance captain, on moving forward to the next round. With half of the autonomous points and 33% more driver control points, it was a really close match. It really came down to that driver control. That was some impressive driving we saw from the Red Alliance. That was one of the tightest matches I think we've seen all day, and also the most important tight match we've seen all day. 130 to 136 before final time relation. It was, it was close. Su super close.